Yo, what's going on guys? It's Trevor Neff here. Today, we are going to pick up Silvergraph from the airport. Uh, he's going to be staying with me for a little bit. And he's going to have Lita as a fun little guest. Hi, Lita Lee. <laughs> Don't get too close to the camera. But, yeah, so Freddy's going to come with me. We're going to pick him up, and then we're going to take him to uh, my house for a little bit. And then later tonight, we're going to have a little Denny's run, because we're going to go get some Denny's and have like a, like a little chill type of night. So it'll be pretty fun. I'm going to have Freddy recording part of the vlog and uh, us picking him up and stuff like that. So it should be a good time. Hopefully he enjoys his stay here and hangs with the boys for a little bit. Um, Yeah, it'll be a fun time. Look who it is. Look who it is. It's Fred Boy. Yeah. And his sidekick, Chum Chum. Uh, no. No? No, but he is a menace. <laughs> Go. Fine. Fine. There you go. Work smarter, not harder, dumbass. You act like I have those kind of smarts. <laughs> Sometimes I wish you did. <laughs> Rude! <laughs> Why do you keep doubting me? <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> That's really fair. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, head off to the airport to pick up our homie. You know what would be funny? If when you got out of the truck to go see him, you'd be like, there's my little honey boo-boo. <laughs> you know, I might do some shit like that. I don't know. I mean, you... Oh. You should be like, hey, my little date. Because he owes you a date still. Yes, that is true. So, if you guys know what we're talking about, we bet you did it in a few videos where I beat Sovereign and we'll be one and more in uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And, th and the deal was, he had to ask Freddy on a date. Freddy said yes. And now that Silver's 19, we're, we're gonna make it happen. We're go so we're gonna have Freddy get out of the car when we see him. We're gonna have him do something like that. Be like, hey, my. Oh, do an Indian accent. Hello, my darling. Hello, my little dandelion. <laughs> Hello, my little dandelion. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my little dandelion. I've been waiting for so long. <laughs> we'll pick this back up in a little bit, though. <laughs> How did he not think to tell us? I mean, I think it's pretty sim- like, Kamenel is like, hey, I want top or bottom, right? He literally didn't say a word. No. <laughs> like, so he has- so he literally has to go from up there to try to- yeah. Not gonna lie, I thought that old man was him. <laughs> I thought so too. Do you smell like a seafood restaurant? Huh? Do you smell a seafood restaurant? I mean, it kind of makes sense where you are close to Cleveland. Well, plus they have like a lot of restaurants inside, don't they? Yeah, there are eight bad yeah, restaurants inside. Huh? They have like a jewelry store inside too. Yeah. Remember when we went to California when we were coming back? They had a Chili's inside of ours. And that was the one in Texas too. Yep. There he is. Oh my god, it's my Bozos! Really? Hi! What the fuck, man? You were upstairs? Yeah! You know that's departures, right? No! How? I've never been here! Sober. Sober. Literally, <laughs> if you see counters, right? Oh. And they're giving out tickets. Lights and they're taking <laughs> What do you think that indicates? And what, what do you think baggage claim is for? Not me. <laughs> Get the fuck in the back seat. <laughs> Fucking idiot here. Hi. Excuse me, sir. Here. Here, friend. Why do you have a pony in your... Freddy. <laughs> you got the pony for Freddy? No, I got the... <laughs> yes, I got the pony for Freddy. It's no, for... the pony is for Riley. Yes. Oh. And this is for Mary. Are you no longer a brony? No, I am. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's not like a life thing. I guess so. Oh. Fuck, he's just the same as he was on the internet. Awesome, right? Alright. Who's this one? That's Mary. Ah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, he literally got in the seat. He leaned over. He was like, "Oh!" Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, you are so fucking not doing this right now, dude. <laughs> you are so not doing this. Get, Hell no. <laughs> get that off. Freddy. <laughs> you will get. No, no, no. No, no. <laughs> I bet you couldn't drive with this all the way back to Barberton. Oh, really? How much money? All I got is like two bucks. Damn. Literally, I'm fucking broke. Got our tax return. We got five grand back. Oh. Three thousand of it already gone within like ten minutes. Friend. Because only because yeah. we paid off rent. Our rent is completely paid off. Yeah. Fifteen grand just to pay off rent. Another fifteen or like we're trapped here, aren't we? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What are you about to do? Praise God, parent. Parent, real quick. <laughs> I got fucking guessed it. Praise God, fucking parent. Welcome to Ohio. Oh yeah. Go ahead and hop in the front seat. Let me hop in the. Let me hop in the back. All right. Hey buddy, I'm here. Yeah, Hi I'm man. Here. What's up, man? <laughs> What'd you drop? I don't fucking know. It was him. You. That's a shot glass. Trevin. Having shot glasses in the car and almost breaking on the concrete is not a good idea. Listen, 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 Linda. Okay. okay. <laughs> I didn't know I had a shot glass. I never used it. <laughs> so. All right. Yeah, we're, we're, we're like kind of. I don't know, Trevin. We're kind of trapped. <laughs> what do you I don't know. know. That kind of looks dirty. It, as came, hell. It, it came from my dad's house, <laughs> and I never used it. Listen here, friend boy. Listen, Linda. Come here, buddy. You're okay. Do you want to be a parent? <laughs> Would you like to be a parent? This, this right here, he's overstimulated. So. <laughs> it's part of being autistic. So, <laughs> for those who are watching, please know. If you know what I'm doing, then thank you for being a positive influence towards autistic kids. Because one, over being overstimulated when you're autistic, it's not fun. It feels like the whole world is crashing down around you. Welcome and I write, and I write, Derek. <laughs> yes. Yeah. For those who don't know what autism looks like, autism can look like a whole bunch of different things. Him, for example, he's autistic. He loves his life because he gets to travel and. Hang out yeah. with us. <laughs> and we got him. A new new generation. <laughs> that we have to take care of. Is it weird seeing us in person? Yes. Alright. Oh, I bet it is. <laughs> I bet it was I bet it was weird going seeing all, all your all the online friends in person, right? Yeah. You spend all day online talking on video, that's about all you see of them. The moment they come to your state, <laughs> you're to like, and you're like, holy Me shit. Remember when we met Volk? Yeah. Dude, that was weird. He oh. was tall. Very tall. He, I, I, thought he was I, like, I thought he was like a small skinny boy. Yo, when I saw him, I saw him out of the crowd. I picked him out. You know how? He's one little red. Jesus. Yeah. You remember that, Trevin? Yeah. His one little red. Yeah. He doesn't have that no more. I know. I haven't really talked to him much, but... I haven't either. I, I have a feeling that that was kind of like a, a phase. Yeah. Really. Like, I love dyeing my hair. Dying, dyeing hair is fun. I saw Especially, the black of mine. I would kind of want to go a different color. I don't know. I don't want to. I kind of want to venture off. Well, we're going to go ahead and the vlog for right now. We're going to try to get the fuck out of here somehow. Somehow. We don't know how the fuck we're going to get out of here. Well, <laughs> we'll eventually get out. Yeah. Eventually. Right? 